Thank you, Dr. Shelton, for agreeing to chat with us about um, working with the American Heart Association in the superintendent role. Dr. Shelton is the executive director of the Kentucky Association of School Superintendents, and he has a wealth of knowledge and um, experience under his belt. So we love hearing from you. Um, I have just a couple questions for you. The first would be, can you share with us why you feel it's important to support the American Heart Association? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but I guess I would uh, kind of uh, boil it down to uh, three. Uh, the first reason is it's very personal to me. Um, my father died of heart disease and, and with a stroke and, and the issues that, that were around that. Um, and even I have had some heart issues to where I've had uh, two stints uh, now that I live with. It's kind of changed my lifestyle and helped me move away from uh, the issues in my own family. So uh, heart disease is very personal to me, first of all. Uh, the, the second reason um, is because as a school superintendent, your primary responsibility is for your students and your staff and um, we need to make sure that in order for their education to be successful that they're healthy um, and so uh, partnering with AHA gives you an opportunity to allow your students and your staff um, to uh, have more opportunities to learn about heart health and, and, and why it's important to be engaged and and, and exercise and taking care of yourself and those issues. And then the third reason is, is because AHA offers so many uh, different opportunities and services for kids to learn and um, hopefully to uh, change the, not only the physical health, um, but also, um, you know, their own uh, knowledge about themselves and their own lifestyles and help change the generations of the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so kind of goes hand in hand. Why do you feel that it's important to support our um, programs? So Jump Up for Heart, Hoops for Heart, District Heart Challenge, The Great Replay, all those. Yeah. Well, they come along with curriculum, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, and so our teachers uh, get to uh, spend time, you know, meeting the, the standards that they have to meet with teaching of kids. Um, and then they also get to teach them those healthy habits at the same time. And they're very age appropriate. Um, you know, uh, the jump rope for heart is probably, you know, one of my favorites. Uh, just seeing the kids' excitement and engagement mm -hmm. when they participate in that um, and seeing the teams that come together and how successful they are and the kids getting rewarded for that success and learning at the same time. And you know, I love the heart walk too. Uh, that was something that I like to in, engage our staff in. And it, it allows you, in a school district, it allows you to have a little competition that's um, both friendly and also healthy at the same time. And so um, AHA, again, just um, has different things for wherever our kids or our adults are in, in the appropriate time. Um, what impact have you seen in the districts that you've worked um, worked with happen on the children who have supported the Heart Association? It, you know, I've been fortunate to be superintendent in two different school districts, uh, fairly large districts most recently in a district of over 40,000 students and had over 8,000 adults that I was responsible for. And um, I know like with Jump Rope for Heart, for example, the kids when they are learning about um, the heart and about um, heart health uh, typically have an impact or an influence on the adults. And I think that's really, really neat. Uh, it can be on their own parents or guardians in their own homes or even on the staff in the schools. And it helps change the climate and the culture in the schools and in their own homes. And um, not to mention the fact that, you know, it, it also obviously improves their physical health. Um, but just seeing the kids that engaged um, kind of creates a warm and welcoming environment and atmosphere within the schools and their classrooms and at home. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Those are all the questions. Do you have anything else you wanted to add? I would just encourage um, any school district 
uh, to participate with AHA and partner with AHA. Um, any superintendent who's thinking about it, um, you know, ought to take the opportunity to meet with their local AHA uh, representatives and, um, you know, don't just leave it to the schools or an individual school or principal because everything starts with leadership at the top and if the superintendent will become engaged, um, help engage the board in the central office, um, the schools will follow and you can create a whole district uh, that where everyone can be successful. Thank you.